as the Terriers get ready for the back end of this Hockey East weekend series with the New Hampshire Wildcats. Terriers staying on the defensive side here, trying to ward off LeClaire. LeClaire right to the goal mouth. Stevenson is denied. Back up high, Fensori, center point. Turns it to the far circle. Scoot back in for a shot, denied by Fezenden. Fensori gets it back, slap hey. over the goal! Dog Fensori staying hot. We'll see if it got redirected, I don't know, but it's Dom that gets the puck to the net and the Terriers to the lead. Well, great puck movement on the power play there. They finally got UNH running around a little bit and, you know, killing the penalty defensively in their own end. That's what you need in that position there. In the Inballed. Need that quick release. O'Brien, knives to the slot. Mister and a goal, Jay O'Brien rewarded to the top shelf on the power play and the Terriers have a two to nothing lead. Well, he showed some patience the last couple of times in that setup, they went to the low forward there. I think Jay just held it an extra second and forced the UNH defenseman to make a decision, and he made the wrong one as Jay just roofed it. It's uh, clear, got pressured there by Hudson. And Quinn Hudson is alone and plays the empty net. And the Terriers have a three goal lead with 2.24 remaining. Good patience there, keeping the puck, setting up in their own way. Sometimes when you... Terriers. There you go. Some pressure on in deep at the end of the proceedings here this evening. So, the Terriers of Boston University defeat the UNH Wildcats. They get a six-point sweep for the weekend in hockey East play. Yeah, I think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a big weekend for us. Um, you know, I think it's a weekend that, you know, we needed to get six points, and we accomplished that. I thought tonight, overall, the team, the effort from our team was was excellent. Um, it took us a while to score, but I think our our execution, our you know, we're hard in the puck. So you know, I give our guys a lot of credit. We played really well tonight. Um, pretty shut down third period. I think you only had like five shots on goal. So what were your main focus going into the, the last one? Well, when you go into the third uh, having a lead, you want to make sure you're you know playing behind them, you know, making them go 200 feet. To get in our end, I thought our guys were responsible. You know, I still thought we generated some pretty good chances in the third as well, and you know, we ended up capitalizing there in the power play to give us a little beating on. I've got Dale Bryant here with us. Well, I don't want him. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll get questions be. for uh, for Jay uh, Bryant first. Um, obviously, some lack of puck luck this season, but how rewarding is it for you to get that big goal, and how have you been able to stay? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, had our looks, and uh, that's kind of hockey sometimes. You just got to battle through it. It's obviously some days can be more frustrating than others, but um, yeah, I just thought, you know, it's one nothing with uh, what was three minutes left, and uh, it's a tight game, so uh, it's nice to just get that goal for the team and just give us a little bit of insurance more than anything. So, uh, yeah. Two power play points for you tonight. What do you think your unit's doing really well right now? Uh, I mean, we tweaked a couple things. Uh, I thought they, uh, I mean, you can tell they definitely pre-scouted uh, us as, as, you know, all teams do, but uh, they really locked in on a couple things. So we tweaked a few things and uh, made a few adjustments and just uh, started shooting the puck a little bit more, trying to get more pucks in that. The ice was a little uh, a little bouncy tonight, so just trying to get as many pucks in that and, and kind of recover pucks from there and then make our plays. So, uh, yeah, it was nice nice to get a couple. Those were big goals for us. And when you're holding on to a lead going into Yeah, I mean, uh, it just starts with us in the locker room. We get a confident group, and uh, we know what we have to do. We've been in those situations uh, multiple times this year. I mean, you know, even if we're down a goal going into the third, um, we kind of know what we have to do and, and how to do it and how to play the right way and, and either you know come back from a game or, in this case, close out a game. So uh, we got a lot of guys in the locker room who, or everybody in the locker room, is committed to winning. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's nice to have that kind of confidence as a group going into the third, knowing that. Uh, we know what to do and how to do it. And, uh, as of late, we've been doing a great job. Uh, big game at BC next weekend. What are the main things you're going to carry over from this game and the season? Yeah, I think uh, obviously we've been pretty uh, consistent. I think over these last last couple of games, um, I think one of the, one of the things is we got to kind of stay out of the box and then our penalties. BC is a good uh, skilled team as always, so we got to kind of uh, key on that a little bit. And, Stay out of the box, but I think just keep doing what we're doing. We got a good thing going right now, and uh, you know we're pushing hard, and 
Uh, we, we want to end this, I guess, first half of the season on a high note. And, um, this weekend was was you know a weekend that we wanted to to uh, to sweep, and I mean obviously every weekend we want to sweep. This weekend was a step in that direction. We had two more next weekend, and you know let's we'll take it take it day by day this week. Look at some video and see what we can improve on. But yeah, I think uh, just keep keep pushing, keep pushing in practice, and we'll go our way. Question, Sounds like a coach. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that was real. Oh, yeah. um, can you comment on the penalties tonight? At the first half of the season, it felt like you guys were in the box a lot, and then it kind of crumbled off, and now it feels like tonight it was a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think we've gotten better with our discipline. You know, last night was kind of a tough night. I think on both second periods, was a bit of a mess on, on both sides. Um, tonight again, we probably took a couple that I'm not sure they were definitely penalties, but you know that, that's to the ref's discretion, but anyway, we did a good job. Our penalty kill was excellent tonight, um, so that was important. Hey, can you comment on Vinny's play? Vinny was great. Like, like we always know, like, anytime Vinny's in there, he, he's like, this kid's a gamer. Like, he, he, he enjoys playing in big games. Um, the team trusts him, you know. You know, obviously, we miss Drew. Drew's a great goaltender, but we know if Drew's not going to play, Vinny's going to step in. He's always going to be good. Any update on Drew? Uh, he's just, he's under the weather, so we'll, we'll find out more on Monday. I uh, talked to the Texan today. He's definitely feeling better, so just take it day by day with him. I think he's hitting the nets on his shots. Um, you know, Dom's always creating offense. Um, it's something he works on. He's working on trying to score more because he gets plenty of opportunities. And right now, he's he's got some, he has some confidence, and the puck's going in. So I think he's feeling good about it, and I want him to keep shooting. UNH power play scored two goals last night, obviously 0 for 4 tonight. Um, did you change anything up in sort of the strategy or the mess or the messaging, or did you guys just kind of come in and kind of see how it went? I think last night, it was, both the goals they got were off of broken plays. I thought overall last night our kill actually was pretty good. Um, you know, we had a couple of broken plays and they capitalized on it. I just thought tonight that we were really sharp. Um, you know, we got our clear, clears, we pressured at the right time. Um, so overall, it was excellent. Everyone was on the same page, and, and, and when, when we didn't need to save, Vinny was there. Um, I just have a question for you about the other day. Um, going through this period where he has been a little safe, but how have you seen his other areas of the game developed? Yeah, we, we've talked about it a lot. Um, I'd worry if he wasn't getting chances, and he's been getting chances all along, so I, it, it's going to come for him. But he, he's playing the game the right way for us. Like he, he's a... Center, centers in our uh, system are really important, and he's not cheating it that way. So he, he's been killing penalties. He's playing in all situations. So he's still a huge part of our team, even even when he's not scoring. But like he's right now, he still has a, I think it's eleven or twelve points right now. So that, that's pretty good. So I think it's just going to keep coming. He's going to keep building his confidence, and he's a big part of our team. Yeah, one more I, I realize every game is important, but this upcoming Friday, I mean, you're looking at the first time you know Jack Parker, Jerry. Do you allow yourself to think about that at all, or is it just you know, the task at hand? We got to get three more points. I haven't thought about it until you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's going to be exciting. Any any time it's you know, BUBC, it's it's awesome. It's a great experience for the players, for the coaches, for the fans, for everyone involved. So I'm just excited for it. Um, sure, I'll put more thought in it um, starting Monday, but. Right now, we're going to enjoy this and uh, go from there. Thanks, everyone. We'll have Vinny come back. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Just the weekend as a whole, obviously, they shut out tonight. But when you're called upon, how important is it for you to kind of be able to stand up for the team um, last minute? Um, I mean, I obviously don't uh, get to play that often. So whenever I do, it's always a battle. I'm always excited. I'm, I always want to do the best for my team and stand up for the guys in front of me because um, you know, they, they've been blocking shots like crazy all year, and I mean, it's always a good time. Um, can you speak to the strength of the defense in the past couple weekends, and now that they played in front of you this weekend, what kind of support have they given? Uh, they're making uh, my job easy, my, my job and Messel's job. Um, obviously, tonight I didn't think I had any really hard save to make. It was all shots in the logo, you know, shots, wide open shots, and um, Big um, tip to the hat to my defense there. Um, you said you didn't have a ton of hard stops to make, but they still got 20 on you. So is that kind of like a best case scenario? You don't have too much time without seeing rubber, but they're not always the hardest uh, hardest chances. Um, 
yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a fun game to have. Obviously, I, I don't mind uh, 45 shot games, but obviously, usually, uh, you don't want that as a, as a team. But no, 20 shots and easy shots from the outside is always a, a good thing to have for a goalie. Do you take any time to reflect on kind of where you came from, under recruited? You come here to BU, you know, not in the starting job, and you've just time and time again been able to to get it done when you've been called. Do you take any time to kind of reflect on that journey? Um, yeah, usually, you know, on, on Sundays when I'm not doing anything and uh, <laughs> uh, when I can't, you know, um, I don't know how to explain this, but I don't want to be intimidated by the moment, so I, I try to forget all that. But, you know, when I have some time off and have time to realize where I am, where I'm at, you know, I'm at BU, the, the people that wore this jersey, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And kind of at the top of the point of the season, can you kind of reflect on what you Um, I don't know. We're, you know, high energy. You know, if we show up with a good start, usually we'll have a good game. Same thing for me personally. As soon as we start well, we're, we go well. Um, we kind of talked about it feels like you played a lot of huge games for you, like being caught Michigan this year. How did it feel just getting the starts and, you know, conference points that were so important, but maybe the stakes weren't as high pre-game? Um... You know, I, I, tr I try to see every single game the exact same, um, but I don't know, it's just, uh, it's kind of a routine you get into when you come into the weekend, you're trying to do the best you can every, against every single team, it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, last or second last place or, you know, top five in the country, it's always, it's always, a, you got to show up and do the best you can. Big weekend coming up, obviously you don't know what your role will be but how do you kind of, as a team, prepare for what's a rivalry matchup and then a game against one of the best teams in the conference? Um, it's always the same for us. Show up and practice and obviously work hard and, you know, get rough in the corners during practice. And that's all you can ask for, for a team, honestly. Um, it's going to be the same for me. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.